You know, this movie really makes me want to see like a Michael Keaton versus Liam Neeson like spy movie. Wouldn't that be pretty badass? Hey everybody, welcome to KM Reviews. I am Nittleman. Today I'm bringing you a spoiler-free review for the movie American Assassin starring Dylan O'Brien and Michael Keaton. Now I'm going to give you my rating for this movie right off the bat and if you want to know why I gave it that rating, go ahead and stick around to find out why. I'm going to go ahead and give American Assassin friends with benefits. <laughs> this movie wasn't super deep, but boy was it fun. So for those of you that don't know what this movie is about, you got Dylan O'Brien, he's the guy from the Maze Runner movies. Basically his fiance is killed right in front of him during this random shooting when they're on like this trip and it really pisses him the fuck off. So what's he do? For the next year and a half he basically trains himself with the UFC, how to use guns, spy tactics, other languages, blah 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 blah. And he basically decides, you know what, I'm gonna just go terrorist cell the terrorist cell and just take these guys out myself. Fuck that, I'm not... Leaving it up to the CIA, I'm going to do it myself. Well, the CIA notices him doing this, and they kind of recruit him, and it's their process, and that's the movie, basically. The two biggest pros I'm going to give this movie is Dylan O'Brien and Michael Keaton. I thought these guys had a great like student-teacher uh, kind of relationship in this movie. Both of their acting chops were awesome. Dylan O'Brien, in a way, almost seems like a young John Wick. Like His fighting in this movie and the choreography and the way the guns, the intensity of it, the, the um, length of the shots that they do during the fight sequences, it kind of felt like John Wick when he was beginning or something like that, you know? Like not quite headshot 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 like John Wick but just the intensity and the way he looks and everything it just kind of reminded me of John Wick a little bit again not quite to that extent but it, I just I really liked the action in this movie and the intensity Dylan O'Brien brought to it and this is also the first movie I can really think of where I've seen Michael Keaton really bring this kind of intensity in terms of action obviously he's a good actor in movies like Spotlight and stuff but this is the first time where I feel like Michael Keaton would fucking kill me in 20 seconds like Actually, probably more like four seconds. Um, and I, I just got to give him a lot of credit for that. I really bought them in this movie. Now, what I will say about this movie, and it might be a negative for some people, but it's it's fine with me because I like movies like Fast and the Furious and The Transporter and stuff. This movie has a scale of unbelievability to it. You know, you start out here and it's like, man, this movie is really intense. This is really believable and crazy. And as the movie goes along, it gets a little bit crazier, a little bit crazier. You have to suspend disbelief to believe the things are happening by the end, like this would never happen in real life. You know, this is not like Lone Survivor, where it's like, okay, this is shit that really happened. And it's not quite to the extent of Fast and the Furious, where they're driving cars from one skyscraper to another skyscraper or anything like that, but it just does get kind of silly by the time the end of the movie happens. But for me, the way they do it was still super entertaining. It was believable enough that I was, it didn't take me out of the movie, and I had fun with it. You know, this is not a movie to be taken super seriously. This is just a fun, turn your brain off kind of action movie. And if you're looking for some super deep, meaningful movie, go see Wind River or some, or go see Good Time. Those are the movies to see. This movie is just lay back, eat some popcorn, and have some fun. If you're looking for more than that, you're going to be disappointed. Which kind of brings me to my negatives, which is that this movie had a lot of potential that it didn't quite live up to. You got Taylor Kitsch in this movie, who kind of plays the villain. And while I don't have a problem with his performance, I believe they kind of show this history there with him and Michael Keaton's character that I wish they would have delved into a little bit more. Maybe make, make the movie just a little bit longer. I really liked the dynamic between him and Michael Keaton in one particular scene in the movie. And I thought that was really interesting. And they just kind of forget about it. And it's it's a very small aspect to the movie, and I wish they kind of... You could almost make a prequel to this movie with those two characters, and that would be interesting. But I just feel like they could have gone really deep with some of these characters, especially Dylan O'Brien at the beginning. It seems like he escalates his skills very quickly, and I would have kind of liked to have seen a longer uh, sequence of him going from your average guy into this elite assassin type of guy and it, they do it in like a year and a half in the course of like 10 minutes in the movie and it just I feel like they should have developed that a little bit longer because I liked the training sequences probably the most in the movie like when he's with Michael Keaton and he's learning from him that's a very small part of the movie but it was my favorite so that's my biggest negative is that I feel like they made him the assassin the elite guy way too long but not enough training. 
So while I did have some story issues with this movie, the fun I had with the action and the acting just triumphed over all the negatives. So I, friends with benefits it is. So what did you guys think? Did you guys see this movie? What did you think? Are you looking forward to this movie? Do you disagree or agree with me? Let me know whatever you want to know in the comments below. Also, remember you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Nittleman. And stay tuned for more movie reviews if you can handle it. Go.